Hey everyone, welcome back. So I am so excited about today's video. This is going to be more of a day in the life slash days in the life slash just kind of what I'm up to. And I'm so excited because it's been forever since I've done more like vlog style content. And that is what I want to start putting more of on this channel. And those of you that have been around a long time know that that is what this channel originally was. So, I'm gonna catch you up a little bit. We've had a very busy morning. I have been just putting some finishing touches on my porch makeover for fall. That's gonna go up on the home channel really soon, probably within the next like couple of days after you guys see this video, it will be going up. I'm so excited. It's so cute and I can't wait to hang out out there throughout the fall months and just really enjoy it. We already practically live on our porch. We're out there every morning. Corey and I have coffee out there every single morning and there's a lot of evenings that we kind of close out our night by just sitting out there after dinner and just enjoying the peace and quiet and having some adult conversation even after the kids go to bed. So the prep for today actually really started yesterday. I went with my sister Sarah and when I say my sister Sarah I'm actually meaning my sister-in-law Sarah. It just takes longer to say sister-in-law and I really count my sister-in-laws as my sisters too because we're all very close and really get along well. So I went with my sister Sarah to a farmer's market and I got a bunch of ingredients. We love our local farmer's market. There's always yummy baked goods and produce and plants and just all kinds of things that you can find. The one stand even has apple cider slushies right now which I think is so yummy and put us really in the mood for fall. So what I want to do today and part of my so one of my goals for today is to get some relish made and some pickles and a little bit more like long-term preserving. If you guys watch a lot, you know I love to can and to dehydrate things and just to really be um, budget conscious whenever it comes to our food and also that I know what went into our food whenever I'm the one canning it and preparing it for long-term storage. So um, I got some things for that. I was thinking that I would tap tackle that sooner but Corey just told me that he would kind of like to go get a late lunch plus I wanted to run some errands and he wanted to run some errands so he said why don't we like team up and he can get me to Target and some other places I need to go and then we'll also make some stops for him so he's currently getting ready and the I'm sitting in the office right now and the office smells so delicious little known fact I don't know if I've ever mentioned this even in the past on my channel but Corey probably loves candles as much as I do if not more he is constantly lighting the candles in the house making it smell really good well he stopped by the hardware store this morning and I guess they had a bunch of fall candles out and he came home with a pumpkin donut candle and that's what's burning right next to me and I just keep getting these wafts of pumpkin deliciousness it smells so good so I'm sitting in here because I'm kind of trying to pull a list together for a few different things and one of the things I need to write a little list for and one of the reasons I need to go to Target is I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram. I'm trying to start doing a monthly giveaway where I just put together some of my favorite things and you guys can like comment on my reels and things like that on there and you'll just be entered. I'll put like the info on there on how to be entered and I want to do it at probably like the beginning of every month for the previous month's posts and things like that. So I have a couple more favorite items of mine that I want to put in this month's giveaway. So if you guys want to get involved in that, you can definitely check out my Instagram. It will be linked below. Um, so I need to go get a few supplies for that and maybe I'll show you guys what I'm giving away if I get everything today um, in this video later on. So we'll wait and see. So there's a lot I have packed and planned in the day today. We're going to get going, but I wanted to sit down with you guys and chat with you for just a minute before before we run out the door. Okay, so we are back home and unfortunately, I feel like the errands and the things I was looking for was a little bit unsuccessful, but we had one success and that was to get my first pumpkin cream cold brew for the season. I normally kind of avoid 
dairy, but for the pumpkin cream cold brew, it's gonna happen. So I did find a couple other little things for the giveaway. I did not complete it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna jump on Amazon and order a few other things and then wait to do the, sorry, somebody's delivering something and Daily's barking. And then wait to do the giveaway until those things arrive in the next couple of days from Amazon. So in the meantime, it is pretty late afternoon, but I still want to get at least a batch of pickles done. Corey went back to a job site, so he's not going to be home until a little later. He's going to work a little later tonight. And um, I am going to try to get these pickles sliced. I actually follow the Mrs. Wages package, which I'm going to show you in a second, for bread and butter pickles. They are one of our absolute favorites. And if you're new to canning, they're something super, super simple to try out because you literally literally just mix together sugar and white vinegar and the package and you slice up the pickles the size you want them to be put them in the jar you put the little brine that you mix up with the seasoning and you cook it a little bit over top of the cucumbers and then you just water bath can it for about 15 minutes I think that's what the packet says I'll have to double check that but it's very, very simple and it's an easy beginner project if you wanna try out doing a little bit of home canning. Hey friends, so it's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. I actually went and helped my sister, technically my sister-in-law, my sister, um, with a few things they've been working on renovating at their home. I mentioned that in a video on my home channel not long ago. And so I went over there and I was helping her out and we got a lot done. So now it's kind of time to dive back into things around here in our house. So it's a really, really rainy day. If you hear noises in the background, the girls are upstairs playing with Legos and I feel like it makes lots of extra little noises. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. But it's a really rainy day today. And so I really wanna focus on getting some things done in the house. I think rainy days are my sometimes most productive days because for some reason, it gives me energy to just quickly get a bunch of things done so that whenever it is a sunshiny day, I can go out and enjoy that. So I am sipping on a little bit of coffee. I found this cute um, mug that I thought was like kind of fall inspired and I like big mugs, but this one here was just, I don't know, so cozy and sweet. 
So like I said, I've been wanting to share more bullet journaling. I mentioned that I think in a video or so ago. And um, so one of the things I've been trying to do in my bullet journal is I've been trying to keep a running to-do list, which I really like. So on the days when I'm trying to get a bunch of things done, I can write my to-do list down. Whatever I don't accomplish that day, I just move on to the next day that I'm gonna get a bunch of things done. It's not necessarily that I do it every single day. It's just more on days when I plan to be really productive and want to kind of have a list to go by. So that's why I pull out my bullet journal and I'm going to sit here and kind of write out a couple of the things that I want to get done today. The first thing on the list is I wanna go around and do a little bit of tidying. I worked the last day or so on getting the kitchen really nice and cleaned up. There was just a lot of clutter, a lot of things going on, and I'm getting ready to actually declutter, which of course will go up on my home channel. So on this channel, you guys are gonna start seeing a little bit more of like behind the scenes from my home channel a lot of like the things I do to prep and stuff I get from Amazon just to get ready for that because I just got another Amazon order with some turntables to organize all of my mugs that cabinet it's the corner cabinet on this side is just an absolute mess right now there's mugs and cups and some of them are like falling over because it just needs to be gone through so that's something that um, I'm going to put on the list for a organizing video for on my home channel but I just feel like there's some tidying that needs to happen. I need to go through the living room, clean that up, vacuum. I have some laundry that needs to be folded. I need to make our bed and just those sorts of things. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to tackle. And I also want to show you a bunch of tomatoes my mom brought over last night that I'm going to be processing. I don't think I'm going to process them today. Um, however, I might process them tomorrow. So maybe in the next video that you see, you will see me processing the tomatoes. I either want to make tomato sauce or tomato soup out of them, or I might just make tomato sauce and can it so then I can use the tomato sauce to make tomato soup. Um, that way it's a little bit more um, versatile and I can use it in other recipes if I want to. So let me go ahead and give you a little bit of cleanup motivation and let's get tidying. One other thing I wanted to show you guys before I get started on some cleaning up is the pickles that I did. And of course they look absolutely delicious since they've already been processed and everything like that. But I'm going to take the rings off. I did get about 28 pint, which is a good amount of pickles. We really love this kind of pickles and the girls like to even snack on them. So we will definitely go through them pretty quickly. But you wanna take the ring off the top for a couple of different reasons. If you can something really sticky like peaches or something like that, sometimes the rings can get stuck on the top. And then the other reason is if moisture gets underneath of the, the ring and on top of the lid, it can rust really bad too. So just for long-term storage, it's best practice to take the rings off before you label them and put them on the shelf. All right, I have this all taken off of here because I'm gonna wipe that down. I need to vacuum in here. And Daily feels like she has to be a part of everything I'm doing. <laughs> and then over here, I had pulled out, these are the turntables that I just got for in where my mugs go. And then this was stuff I took off the porch whenever I did the fall porch decorate. And this is like more fall decor that I might put out. There's shoes that I actually need to go through. There's like a wiffle ball bat there too, but I need the girls to come down and we need to decide what we're keeping for next year since we're getting into fall shoes and all of that. So, and I need to straighten up the pillows and throw blankets, just kind of get things a bit tidied up.
All right, I'm about to tackle that load of laundry right there and get it folded over here. You can see how dark it's gotten outside and I actually have the brightness turned up on my camera so it's even darker than this. It's so dark from the rain. But I wanted to show you these gorgeous tomatoes that my mom brought over from our garden. We did a garden over at my parents this year and a lot of the produce kind of comes in waves and it's not just me, it's also my mom and my sister-in-law. So we kind of have taken turns with some of the stuff that's coming out of the garden. So this is a wave of tomatoes <laughs> that I'm going to be processing and they are so gorgeous. But like I said, I don't think I have time to really get into them today. So I'll get into them tomorrow and so you'll see them in the next video that I do. So I'm gonna jump in, finish up this laundry so I can get it off my list. laundry and knocked off the list along with kind of going through some of the clothing with the season changing so I'm glad I got that done I also ordered the girls some new shoes for the fall weather coming I had them come down you saw that pile of shoes I had them come down and sit down and try on shoes to see what fit and what size they actually are and all of that so um, I got those ordered right now Target is doing a sale with their shoes they do that oh my phone is ringing one second <laughs> okay sorry about that that was Corey and he wanted me to get out some frozen um, hamburgers so that we can make up some burger patties for lunch which goes right along with what I want to try anyways and that is I want to try using my home canned potatoes in the air fryer I want to try that because usually we fry them on the stove with butter and seasoning and stuff like that but this time I want to toss them in a little bit of like avocado oil season them and put them in the air fryer and see how they turn out so we're about to whip up some lunch and we can even use some of the pickles that we canned on our burgers for lunch All right, you guys, so we just put the girls into bed and we're kind of winding down for the day. So what happened was we made a late lunch and then my sister came over, or my sister-in-law. So my brother and my sister and Corey and I and a few other people are going to be going to our first professional football game in a couple of weeks and so my sister-in-law Shinoa came over and we made some really fun sweatshirts we used um a press with a, with my Cricut, which I've never done that before. I've never used the press and like made t-shirts with the iron on vinyl. So it was really, really fun. I thought I would show you guys the finished product. So we are Pittsburgh Steelers fans and that is the game that we're gonna be going to see in Pittsburgh. And that's a few hours away from us. And we've made the front just with the Steelers black words. And then the back, 
we did with their logo and our last names. So obviously my brother and his wife, their last name is Geyser, that's my maiden name. And then our last name is Zook. So there's Say Geyser, our Say Zook. And we just had a bunch of fun going and getting all the supplies and making those. And I'm really excited to make other t-shirts and other iron on projects now that I know how to do it. And it's relatively simple to do. I just, my brain kind of going crazy with all these ideas so we had a bunch of fun doing that and we went and got Starbucks and I just hung out with her for the evening so I wanted to kind of hop back on the camera and wrap up this video I know it probably wasn't very long I'm kind of getting in the swing of taking you all through my day and having you spend time with me again like I used to um, when I first started my channel and kind of changing up how the flow of my content is on this channel so let me know in the comments what you thought of this um, days in the life with me and if you like this style content my goal is to try to start posting more often on this channel and kind of just take you through the different things that I'm up to mix in the meal prepping mix in the freezer meals or the monthly meal preps or the weekly meal preps mixing all of that in but also just sharing with you some normal life and just things that we do as a homeschool family and just a family that does life together. So anyways, it's getting later and I am probably gonna go unwind a little bit. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and give it a like. Like I said, comment, give me feedback on things you would like to see in videos and subscribe if you're new and you wanna stick around and hang out with me some more. And I'll see you guys in a couple days in another video.